I went by your house, what a big mistake But for a while I thought that I wouldn't break Ooh. I need something else to clear my head Well, it is Someone January and here is the middle of January hoop house tour and let's see how things are going in there. It's been pretty cold last night. We got down, I think our wind chill was down to six degrees Fahrenheit. Um, overall temperature was supposed to be right about 16 to 17 degrees outside and inside the hoop house it maintained at about 30 degrees so a little cold but it was still doing okay so let's take a look in the hoop house let's see what the temperature is and let's see how the seeds that i planted about two weeks ago are doing all right let's go all right let's take a look at how our seedlings that we planted about two weeks ago are doing and then also two i had didn't done some severe cutbacks of both the lettuce crop and the arugula crop and let's see how it that's faring all right let's go okay here's my ongoing crop of both the onion that I started from seed as well as garlic still doing well I planted some lettuce a couple weeks ago it's coming up quite well our existing lettuce and arugula actually is doing pretty good. I severely cut this back, very harshly, almost with one leaf left or a couple leaves left per each plant. And they're really coming back. I'm quite happy with it. I wasn't sure if I would end up having to pull them out, but quite happy with where they are right now. Temperature in the hoop house is about 60 degrees. When we look at the actual temperature and what it's registering right there inside each of these little protected gardening, it's actually registering at 70 degrees according to my um, thermometer that's in the house in the dirt here. So that's pretty good. Back here we have some arugula that's still doing very well. My turnips that I planted several weeks ago are now starting to spring up. My original spinach still doing well and still harvesting from there I have some more turnips that are starting to turn it up a little bit and I have some Brussels sprouts that are starting to grow a little bit better my carrots I've been picking a few off every week and they actually are coming out pretty good let's see maybe we'll go ahead and pick one that looks good Let's see, is it shouldering? Yeah, what the heck, we'll pick this one. Watch it be a, whoop. Feels like it's a tiny one. It's pretty frozen, but uh, looks good. Maybe I'll pick one more. See if I can get it more at, at the roots. Not, I think they're just in there. Looking good. They actually are very sweet because I've left them in the ground when the ground was cold. So I've been lucky. Now here's what I'm really surprised about. I think I mentioned on the last Hoop House tour that I had planted radish and I had planted arugula as a third harvest. And surprise, surprise, look at that. My radish are coming up. And let's take a look at the arugula. The arugula is really springing up so I'm hoping we're supposed to have a couple of we're supposed to have a couple more sunny days in a row I think two or three more sunny days and what that does is it brings up the temperature in the hoop house without any additional heat to somewhere between 60 and 75 degrees so I think that's why my seedlings actually decided to come back up and my lettuce started doing well with that so I'm hoping that's going to continue and the crops can both get a little bit more growth in them so that they can handle some of the colder weather we still have here. All right, that's it for now for a tour around the January hoop house. All right, thanks for joining me. See you on the next video. Bye-bye now.